Uh, in mid-January, International uh, World Youth Day will be celebrated in Panama, but youth and young adults are essential to the life of our parishes all year long. Ella Marie are here to talk about their young adult group. Hey guys, thank you so much for being with us Thanks today. Thanks for having us. So Marie, we're going to start with you because I know you love television <laughs> and you're ready to go. First of all, I love Apple Valley Collaborative. I love the name of that. It just sounds awesome. Uh, so tell us about uh, the young adult group and why you're part of it. Sure. Well, the Apple Valley um, Catholic Collaborative is in what we call the Apple Valley, Acton, Roxborough, and Stowe. So hence the name. Um, you know, back in 2014, um, Alan, his wife Amy, my friend Alicia and I all had the idea of creating a young adult group for collaborative. Um, and me specifically, I was really hoping to build a community that could um, all help us along our journey toward Christ together. Why, why'd you do that? That just is very interesting to me because you, you look young to me now and four <laughs> years ago you were younger. Yep. I'm, good, I'm good on math <laughs> like that by the way. So, so all of a sudden, I mean, for a young person, what made you decide to do that? Well, I had just graduated from Boston University where we had a really active Catholic group there mm -hmm. and so I wanted to continue some kind of faith mm -hmm. formation and my home parish. So now that uh, the group is well established uh, in the collaborative, uh, what is it, uh, Alan and Marie, that draws you to continue to come back, to remain involved, and to, to grow it into something that helps many other young people too? I don't think anybody really goes alone on uh, their faith journey. And, and being together with Marie, my wife, all of my friends at the ABCC, um, it's an opportunity for all of us to grow in faith. I always feel like whenever we do service projects, it's one of those things where we just grow in our faith together. Sure. Um, and, and, and it, it certainly, yeah, I, I can understand it. But the question I have to ask, because I'm, I'm so, so interested in this. So it's, it's, it's a scripture dinner, right? Mm -hmm. And it's mac and cheese and Jesus. Oh, yeah. So, so um, as far as uh, service events go, um, we have a ton of events that we do um, as as a group. Um, mac and cheese and Jesus, please, is sort of one of our um, many events that we that we do. Uh, scripture study, for instance, uh, that we do the first and third of the month. Um, it's just one of those regular ongoing events. There's a ton of other service events we do. For instance, uh, we serve at Cor Unum uh, up in Oh, Lawrence. great place. Yeah, Absolutely. Father Paul O'Brien. Yeah. yeah. Um, <clears throat> we have the Prisoner Book Program, for instance, in Quincy, another service project that we work on together. Nice. Um, it's just how many people are in it? How many, how many people do you have in the group? Oh, we, well, our Facebook group, for instance, we've got over 300 followers. Um, there's a core group of us, about 12 or 15 of us that show up for events weekly, mm. bi-monthly. Um, yeah. We're constantly being reminded, too, that, you know, in our parishes, that the, the church is bigger than our parishes, it's bigger than our area, it's bigger than our diocese. It's, a, it's a, an, a, a, a body, the body of Christ that extends across the entire globe. And so I know that you connect with other young adult groups in the area and beyond, perhaps through uh, Jesus Across the Border. Can you explain how that, all that works and, and why that's important, Marie? Sure. So Jesus Across the Border is a platform that's supposed to give a voice to young adult groups in Massachusetts and New Hampshire. Okay. So our group is a, definitely an active part of that group where we go to each of their monthly events and help advertise through them. So yes. here's my question. So, and this is, yeah, it's about me again, of course. So I have a daughter who's in college. Uh, I have a son who's a senior in high school. Then I have a seventh grader. Um, but it doesn't, doesn't seem, I'm trying to find things like what you guys do for them. Now my daughter's at Assumption College, so clearly you know she's got a lot to do with her faith. But my son's in a, in a public high school, and faith-wise we go to church every Sunday. But then what, how, how do I get them connected to groups like this? Now, he can't drive all the way up to the Apple Valley, clearly. <laughs> but, you, you know, I mean, because I think it's important. Yeah, for sure. I mean, a lot of parishes have their own youth ministry. Mm. Um, and then I know the Archdiocese of Boston also advertises some of their youth ministry events. Mm -hmm. 
I get a two, I have to ask you a, a, a personal question, sure, sure. Uh -oh. Alan. The beard. Yeah. Okay. First of all, it's very cool. It's very long. And there's no gray in it, which is a nice thing. Not yet. It shows you're, you're yeah. young. Uh, but are you going to do something with that? Uh, well, the plan, the plan is uh, that we're going to auction my beard off, a sort of shave off during our um, youth ministry auction, youth ministry night. Uh, we do a ton of fundraising at our parish. And so... Um, we're going to see how much money we can raise shaving mm. it off. I have to tell you something, though, Ellen. I'm very hurt. And let me tell you why. <laughs> because I grow a beard every year mm. here on Catholic TV, and he has never complimented my beard once. <laughs> Not only that, he doesn't usually like my beard. And yet you come on, brand new to the show, loves your beard. So I hope you donate when he, when he has to cut off his beard. Uh, yeah, I'm going to might hold you to that. Uh, where can people learn more about <laughs> what you guys do? Well, we have a page on the St. Elizabeth of Hungary website, mm -hmm. scoh.org, and you can also find us on Facebook, yeah. Apple Valley Catholic, Catholic and Adults. Adults. Well, guys, thank you so much. Thanks for all you do. I, I just think it's a wonderful thing, and I, I, I hope that my kids can find something very similar to what you're doing there. And I have to tell you, Jay, I've been to the parish. I've been to the collaborative. It's a great place. It's a great Catholic community, and I, I'm sure that part of the reason for that is your involved presence, so thank you. Thank yeah, so much. Thanks for 2014, us. right? 2014. Yes, correct. Oh, yeah. Okay. See, I'm listening. <laughs> I'm listening.